good morning. It is howling about 25 knots here in the Anchorage. <laughs> so we are bailing. Uh, it's been absolutely fantastic here, uh, but the weather is supposed to get worse and worse over the next two days. So we're gonna go and tack behind this other island. Plus, Colin and Julian and Boundless are there as well. Um, and it's their turn to host us for cocktails. <laughs> Priorities, you know. Forget the wind, it's the cocktails. I go where the cocktails take me. It's very simple today. We just leave the anchor, drift with the current and with the wind behind the island, and hopefully we can find a nice spot to drop the hook again. A little bit stressful navigation this morning. The current is super strong and the wind is fairly strong. And there's lots of reefs to avoid. So I'm retracing our steps on the way out. It's not yet quite light enough to see them clearly, uh, but we have some good tracks to follow, so it should be fine. And all before breakfast. Well, at least the morning coffee arrived. Breakfast is still on its way, I think. Uh, we're nearly there. It's just like a half mile hop around the corner. Could have rolled a sail out, but haven't got to the bottom of the morning coffee yet, so I can't work under these conditions. It's only 7.30 a.m. I thought that let's get this over with, <laughs> this moving of the vessel and re-anchoring so that we can actually enjoy the full day there rather than having it split into two halves. It's great to be back in the windy areas though. We have removed a panel from the dodger so now we are getting a natural breeze down into the back cabin which is lovely so that the fans can get some rest. That's right. It's the best blow we've had in that room in years. It's great. Only four boats in the anchorage. Last time we sailed by, there was like nine of them. So uh, hopefully we can pick a nice spot. My new rule is to go to the beach as close as possible for easy access. It's all about easy. Because the first mate has such a difficult life, as you know. This season he's decided to take it easy. You heard it here first. Marvellous! Success! We are as close to the beach as we possibly could go. And the beach looks fantastic. Great for my running. Um, I have an issue with the outboard. I can't, sadly, I can't operate it. I just don't get it. Um, so uh, my requirement is that I can actually be in the uh, paddling distance to the beach so that I can go in the morning on my own and not bothering the captain. So this is fine. We've been waiting for three days for an overdue fruit and veg delivery boat. Funny how you expect these things after just one time. And now we're used to the little luxuries of cruising. And here they are. Oh wow, looks like great produce. Apparently the truck fell into a pothole in the road and got delayed for two days. It's just the way things work around here. But now we're treated to a whole selection of everything. It looks great. Tell you by the end, Okay, okay. Oh. Uh, Where's the bottle? <laughs> 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 I've got to say, this is absolutely fantastic in the San Blas Islands. This is like a service door to door. Uh, we haven't experienced this anywhere else, so this is really good. It just makes you want to stay forever. Maybe we will, you never know. So, they're coming back in three days' time with more vegetables. So, today was more of a fruit run. More fruits for the fruits. 
We gave them a shot of tequila as well, you know, for the journey. Keeping their good books, you know. Talking of shots of tequilas. I think I need one. The sun is not shining anymore, is it? Shots of tequila for the journey. Now we know how the old truck fell into that pothole. Let's, do Let's hope they have a safe one back. Rush, rush, rush. The last minute fruit delivery have delayed us. We've got a reservation at the local restaurant. Well, a beach hut more like. Uh, about 10 minutes ago, so uh, we need to get there quick. The guy made all the food and he's going, where are the people? Yes. <laughs> so we have a, a semi standing reservation at this restaurant on this island. It's more of a, a village settlement. Uh, that they offer to cook either fish or lobster. That's all it is. Three course menu for $20. So um, we've asked for lobster, but it's not in a season right now, so they were not quite sure whether they're gonna manage to catch one. We shall see. So funny, nowadays we don't even carry our shoes anymore. Just barefoot everywhere. Well, welcome to the restaurant in Bun It Up. Mucho gusto, Rebecca. Pedro, Tomas. Call it, don't eat it. You know what they say moment on the lips, lifetime on the hips. It only matters if you've got a lot of lifetime lips. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Stay halfway to heaven. <laughs> That's three really good. Well, this meal looks really special already. It's blowing a gale out here on the windward side of the island, but it's just more, gonna add to the excitement. What are we eating? <laughs> Paprika, parmesan, bread. Good. Amazing. Good. Smoked fish with avocados and fried plantains. Gorgeous. He was saying that the whole roof was lined with a sail that was donated to him by a German sailor who ended up here, who had blown his sail and he needed to get rid of it. So he took it and used it on the roof here. That's so cool. There you go. Fantastic example of how people reuse things around here. I actually haven't noticed it until Colin mentioned it, but totally, this is someone's Genoa or Jeep. So glad to see that they found another purpose for it rather than just toss it in a bin. I mean, the local guy must be super happy that he's got a roof which doesn't leak. We're going to have a look at the kitchen. Oh, oh fantastico. Oh, it's the maestro en trabajo. <laughs> oh, guys, you wait when you see the main chorus, it's coming up. Yeah, you Absolutely well. amazing. Lobster for everyone, so it's fantastic. Three course menu for twenty dollars, including lobster. You know, and at least you know that the money is going directly to them, so that's really good. Ho ho ho! You know what day it is. That's right. It's the Christmas day on Bohemia, and what better day than to make our own champagne? <laughs> The boys are coming over. Uh, we're gonna have a wonderful Christmas lunch. Uh, we're doing a nut roast. We are doing turkey burgers with some polenta. And I've even made some pancakes for later with a coconut whipped cream. So uh, heavy machinery will be used. So super exciting. Obviously, I have been a very good boy this year because we have the entire afternoon of boozing ahead. Oh, life is good. Obviously, as you know, it's not real champagne, but it's close. <laughs> oh, the Christmas elf has been caught red-handed. No waste on Bohemia. It's really good. Champagne time. I'm so excited. Can't believe the captain made it till 2 p.m. without drinking yet. There we go. It's been a while since we've had Bohemia Fizz. Couple to the right, couple to the left, up a bit, 
sideways a bit. And I think we're pretty much done. It's really hot doing this in a Santa hat. And right next to the fire as well. I can't work under these conditions. I declare that fizzed. Hello, hello. Ho, 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 here oh, are the ho. Who are you calling a ho? <laughs> I was actually expecting the three kings, but the two queens will have to do. <laughs> oh, I'm yeah, so sorry. Yes. No, with respect. the other queens. Three, yes. actually. It's a queen fast. <laughs> it's a queen fast. And there's no baby Jesus here. <laughs> baby cheese is maybe. <laughs> yeah. Merry Christmas. Oh, Christmas. Did you see the Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. Yeah, Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Let's see. It's tomato sauce for the vlog. <laughs> Beer's a bit toasty, isn't it? Beer's <laughs> lovely. Yes. Yes. That's Where's the, the tree? The cats love it so I much. I didn't even dig it up. You know, it's just like. Screw it. I said, Julian, this is the first year I think that we've had the most non Christmas Christmas. Okay, I clearly told them to bring oranges, but you know, in the middle of nowhere, it's very difficult to get. So we're doing the Nectar de Frutas mix <laughs> for the for the mimosas. <laughs> Any more fafas? <laughs> the shopping on this island is a bit limited. <laughs> well, I was expecting three kings, but I just got a bunch of mixed fruit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Mimosa from the Fruit of Mix Up. <laughs> oh, here we go. Julian, you're going to get slammed. <laughs> <laughs> Julian just asked, can I have some red wine? I said, of course, sure. There you go. I do think that's how red wine should be served. <laughs> By the bottle. I'm just working on the whites, sir. Be right with you. Captain are working very hard today, I've got to say. <laughs> Look at him, first mate. <laughs> lounging, not doing anything, sitting by the fire, I'm organizing all the food. Your head's on fire. <laughs> oh, my head's on fire, that's why I have no hair. <laughs> and um, the captains are mixing and drinking. The one day of the year we're allowed to mix and drink, making the most of it. I do think he's about to blow though. <laughs> We're up to 60 PSI at the moment. God, you don't want to get more than 60 PSI! Been there! <laughs> oh God! What have I done to deserve this? So this is Christmas I hope you have fun Oh, phones away please! Phones away please! Can you I'm massively your... out of tune! Merry Christmas! Oh, you got a little wave here. And a Happy New Year! Let's hope it's a good one. So good. Yeah. Oh, that's terrible. You're a little off. Yeah. <laughs> I only tried this this morning. Yeah, but and yeah. so it's yes, Christmas. Christmas. When are we getting our food? We <laughs> when are we getting our food? <laughs> They gave it two. <laughs> it's nearly six and they haven't eaten. <laughs> when do we get food? When do we get food? <laughs> so long. <laughs> See, this is what happens when you do a nut roast. If I don't do it, you flip it around and it comes out. <laughs> Beautiful. I mean, look at that. Wrapped in cabbage leaf and everything. Oh. Ooh, stunning. If I did that, it would be a burn disaster. To give myself a bit of a compliment, I think the turkey burgers turned out really well for the meat eaters. He, I think he did fry those frozen burgers quite nicely, don't you think? <laughs> those are nice. For frozen burgers, excellent. Excellent. A, a mediocre reheat, I would say. A mediocre reheat. <laughs> See what I get here. <laughs> This is never going to make it on the uh, no. YouTube channel. <laughs> there's, always, there's always room for improvement. And if you need a nut roast doing properly, homemade. Boundless is the place to go. Yeah. If you want the perfect 
perfect homemade nut roast, you need to go to Barnless because they just love nuts. Yeah, I have every, I have every confidence this will never make the, the, the cut on bohemia.com because, because it's the same as when we're racing. Never ever do you see us win. All right, all right, cut that, cut that. We're done here. Well, I've got nothing to say about the racing because, quite frankly, it's all lies. Yes, I'll say that. It's all lies. <laughs> Thank you. Everything Thank you've seen you. is lies. <laughs> Everything you've seen is lies. <laughs> We always win, unless Bohemia's edited it. Look at that, before you can say ungrateful guests, before <laughs> no. the food is served. <laughs> the night rose, shit. <laughs> Turkey burgers will be the best. Oh, thank you. Cheers. 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 Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. Merry Christmas. And Happy New Year. <laughs> Here's to a frozen turkey burger. <laughs> You know what they say, justice is a dish best served lightly warmed up in a frying pan, fresh out of the freezer. See what I need to put out with. <laughs> no gratitude, and you all wonder why I am like I am. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> it's not my fault. <laughs> the salad's a bit soggy. It gives us maybe well, about it, five hours I ago. know, because it was sitting on the counter. It didn't get put in I the fridge. I thought we were going to eat it at two o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't get put in the fridge, so it's a little soggy. You know what they say, setting expectations is key. Yes. <laughs> I'm just glad they made it through to 6.30. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, they will be in bed by seven. <laughs> All right, cut before they go back to the boat racing. Truth. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, you let a big gulp of that red wine, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Well, a little bit left back here. <laughs> No matter where I am, I still feel like I'm downstairs in a Downton Abbey, <laughs> serving. I'm like Mrs. Patmore. <laughs> How are things down below? <laughs> Not good. <laughs> I need unions now. First yep. mates for justice. <laughs> but this time he's serving someone else's food and passing it off as his own. <laughs> and it's working very well, i got to say. <laughs> Mrs. Patmore. <laughs> So true. <laughs> oh, you're nothing like downtown Abbey. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely uptown. <laughs> Well, since it's Christmas, you know, it's all about sharing, isn't it? We've got two little presents for these boys. Julian. And this is for Colin. Yeah. Do you want the elastic back? <laughs> yes, please. And the paper. And the paper. <laughs> Take the elastic. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, something tells me. It's gasolina for the out. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> These are all gas. Oh. Chardonnay. Is it two stroke or four stroke? <laughs> Back by popular demand, we have new dates where you can join us on board Bohemia as we explore the tropics. Learn the ropes of full-time cruising or put your feet up while the first mate mixes the drinks. You decide. Spend a week on board with us as we explore Panama's unique Bocas del Toro region, right on the border of Costa Rica where the Caribbean and the jungle collide. If you're curious to experience tropical cruising and can put up with Bohemia's notorious crew, then check out our website for dates and availability. See you next time!